what Sal was doing versus kind of what, what else was worked on before for, for Sean um, Can you rephrase that? Please? He, he, he only took two shots in the second okay. half. So I was curious if that was something that was Sal was just taking you out of the game plan a little bit more or if you guys have gotcha. kind of seen other things. Uh, I think I definitely turned down some uh, good looks uh, in the second half, but at the same time, they were trying to deny and get physical or whatever it might be, and I think that opened it up for uh, everybody else. They were essentially playing four on four on the back side, so Trey was open, Sean was open to go to the lane, Keon, you saw guys get down the lane, Samba was getting in, down there, so. Well, have you been thinking about Dallas or now that you've got it, what are your thoughts about being on this? Uh, to be honest, I was completely uh, unaware of where I was at. Um, it really came as a surprise, and uh, at the end of that sec- uh, at halftime, uh, my teammates came over high-fiving me and all that and pointing at the screens, and I looked over, and that's when I realized. But uh, now that I've got it, um, I mean, just continue to with tag, I don't know. Both. I mean, I just go out there and play basketball. That's what I do. If I see the ball up there, I'm going to get it. Like... <laughs> That's what I do. Has Coach McCall challenged you a little bit more to turn your bounce ball a little bit better than Saturday down by Nah. That's what I do at practice. That's what I do in games. That's what I do every day. I step on the floor. So nothing surprising about it. Is it your confidence to see that, that hard work in practice is trying to stay off the game? Too? I mean, yeah, of course. If you're just putting in work and you're seeing results, of course you know exactly that you've been putting in work and you just got to keep it going. I mean, not really. If I got the ball and somebody else is open, I'm just going to give him the ball. Like, it's basketball. <laughs> so. You guys um, watched the game on Sunday, couldn't close out signals. What did it mean to close this team out tonight when they kept making runs? Uh, it was just a result of uh, just a process. I think at the end of each game that we let slip away at the end, we came in, watched film, uh, tried to emphasize what our mistakes was or, were. Um, and I think today we just did that. Uh, we finished possessions with rebounds, um, hit our free throws, got stops, didn't turn it over at the end. I think it was just the manifestation of the process. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that just from what he just said, like we didn't close that game, so we ended up losing it. So we learned from it. So that's why we came out today and gave everything we got, and we got results, and we're happy with it. Uh, I don't think it's the contested, the contested ones that uh, really set the tone. It's like, just like the easy ones, uh, maybe a free throw or a little mid-range jumper or whatever the easiest bucket is the one that gets me going the most, I'd say. How comfortable are you feeling now with that full fence on the floor compared to where you were last year? Very comfortable. I play free. I don't got to think about anything. So that's, that plays a big role in it. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I think aside from the fact that we were lacking bodies um, and having two guys come back into the lineup, but Colton plays extremely hard, and we know that. Uh, he's been doing it since the summertime in practice. He plays very hard, and it, it just kind of brings a dynamic to our team. And having somebody as talented like uh, Debaji is, he's still trying to find his rhythm, but uh, he sure, he, he definitely will. I have faith that he will, and for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's always nice to see everybody healthy, So, and we got a chance for them. I know we're waiting on TJ, so and, and bugs. you know and bugs, so it'll be great to see everybody back in the in there running around <laughs> healthy. It'll be great. I mean, and like, that's something that you would expect in every game that you go into because they're always going to be physical. Some games they're going to be physical, they're going to hit you, and some other game they, you know, <laughs> the coach over here distracting. So, you know, that's something that we'll always expect. I, me, personally, I practice games, it doesn't matter. I'm always going to be physical, and as well as everybody else. So, 
that's something that we just look forward and that's competing and that's fun. I mean, not doing better because I don't think that's my job, but you know, just help them clean it up and so we can get going. That's you know, I feel like I yeah, give give the kid a little break.